EV Mux at this point is the latest player in the web-based live streaming game. We've covered account setup, dashboard, projects, sessions, speakers, and collaborators, and, and even stream assets like banners, logos, videos, overlays, and backgrounds. <laughs> family now it's time to go live pausing to introduce myself kirk nugent your live video coach on this channel i give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually and today we're looking at ev mux destinations program preview and comments all while going live <laughs> So here we are on the desktop looking at what we set up last time, all the assets from a previous client show. We're going to go through a number of things here. Uh, the first thing to do is to set up our broadcast channels or destinations, as we call it uh, in the regular world, but EV Mugs calls it broadcast channels. So we click this button here and we have Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitch, and then you can also set up RTMP, RTMP destinations like Vimeo or Amazon Live. Those are some of the more popular RTMP destinations that a lot of us use, but you can set those up here as well. So I'm gonna set up my YouTube channel uh, and we're gonna set it up as an unlisted stream. Uh, because of the way that I'm recording this, unfortunately, I will not be able to show you that stream on the YouTube channel, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna set this up real quick here. So EV Mux live test for YT video. Let's get that going, copy that. Let's put that in the description. You can see right here on the side, you can apply to all. So if I had added multiple destinations, let's say a Facebook page, a Facebook group, LinkedIn, if I had added those destinations here, I would be able to apply this title and description to all of them by clicking these apply to all buttons. Uh, additionally, if I click right here where it says schedule for later, if I click here, then it gives me the ability to upload a thumbnail, set my time zone, the date and time that I want this particular show or session to go live. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because we want to test this out right now. So let's turn that off, change this to unlisted, which you can do for YouTube. I don't know how many of the other destinations have that ability, but for YouTube, you do have a privacy option. So public, unlisted and private. So I'm going to set this to unlisted. So, you know, all of you guys aren't notified and we click save. So now this is ready to go. So uh, one of the things I want to share real quick as we get ready to dive in, as we get ready to go live, is that I have no pro scenes currently enabled, no pro scenes enabled, meaning that th th this, this go live experience is going to be specifically for dynamic scenes. So if you are looking at your EV Mux account and you have even one blank pro scene recorded, this go live experience will be slightly different. And I will try to show that to you toward the end of the video. Just wanted to make sure that that note is there. Same general overview and the same management, but the go live experience, just going live is just slightly different. So let's take a look at that by going live right now. So we click the go live button, as you can see over here, and this set of options come up, uh, recording, meaning it's gonna record the entire broadcast, in your EV Mux account. So that'll be available in your dashboard. You can actually go download that with all the graphics and overlays and videos and transitions, all the different things. You can download the entire broadcast as it was sent to, let's say your broadcast channels or destinations, okay? But then we also have local ISO recording. This is one of their beta features, but it's something that's absolutely dope, especially as we consider this is a web-based streaming platform. <laughs> so this allows for you to be able to record every uh, camera that is added to the system. So you can see at the bottom, my camera is there along with my laptop camera, which is just off to the side here. Both of those cameras are added to the system. As soon as I go live, those will start to record locally on my machine and on my guests machines and then upload as bandwidth permits. So by locally recording, you get the best quality of that video possible from that camera because bandwidth and, and internet and all that other stuff is not a function. It doesn't become in as a factor in that quality of the recording. So I'm gonna leave both of those on and we're gonna click the start button. It's gonna initialize for some time 
and now it says playing on the dynamic scene you can see that come up over there and eventually it will go live yes we're live so we're live now all right so we're live and one of the things you'll see immediately of course you'll see that here we have zero people watching <laughs> so zero people are watching uh we we do have the the view count here and of course we knew that zero people were going to be watching because we didn't uh we made this unlisted uh, here you also have this local recording status and you can see that's a cloud with this arrow going up I don't know if you can see that let's kind of zoom in on that a little bit for you guys You can see that arrow kind of going up this means it's locally recorded and then it's uploading to the cloud after the fact and you can see that it's recording both my camera and then the second machine which is my laptop camera which is in the system and then it all of course you have your destinations here and if you click especially on the youtube destinations you do have the ability to click and see what this looks like um on your streaming destination so there you can see that is the flyer that we have up i'm simply going to take this time to type in uh, two comments boom there's hey everyone and I, I just wanted to give you two comments one short one long hopefully that is good now let's come back over here and you can even see that it has updated to one person watching which is pretty cool and we can also see here that on on the comments section of our of our dashboard for the producer which is me you have two comments so now i can look here i can see what those comments look like hey everyone and then there's a second comment so glad to be here anyway you click on each comment to show them um, and it will it will animate on screen the way that you want it to and you can click again to hide that comment let's put one comment on screen and then let's go over to our graphic styling section under the brand settings remember we went, went through this with banners in our last video but we didn't get a chance to do that with comments so we as we change the theme it changes our comments so you can see so glad to be here for the live show i have many questions that's what it looks like under the news theme. This is what it looks like with a rounded. That's the one we were doing originally. This is rounded two, and they kind of animate on screen slightly differently. Here's a gradient one, and they're all kind of different. They have improved these since my first video, but they're still not, I don't know. They just, they look a little bit odd to me on camera, but you guys be the judge. Let me know in the comments what you think of these, uh, these, comments as they are animating on screen do you like them do you not like them what would you like to see different trust me evie mux is listening so you want to make sure your voice is heard um, another thing that i want to highlight here as we get ready to take this off of the screen is uh we can play our video clips so let's say we are playing the intro for the show right so intro for the show click that to play it and it comes up to play here and you can control the audio from this by touching the slider right here this slider right here and you can see it says affecting only on your end which is pretty awesome that you can control the audio just in the studio for you for the listening audience the audio is going to play uh, based on what you have for your regular sound right so this one is affecting only on your end it will affect the sound there where this one is affecting backstage sound right here on the bottom you can see it says backstage sound you can see that 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 would be the effect there and you have the ability to control those individually i love the fact that they give you those kinds of producer type things while live lastly i do want to put two different uh we want to put two cameras on screen so we're going to change this overlay let's uh, move to this frame we're going to add to that so we've got both of them on screen now and we're going to change to this overlay and so you can see two cameras on screen uh, my main camera right here and then my laptop camera right here 
And the laptop camera, as you can see here, it says low resolution preview. So keep that in mind. What you see here from that camera isn't necessarily what the broadcast will see. It is prioritizing quality for broadcast, not necessarily for you as producer in the studio. So that's why it says low resolution preview uh, is enabled. So you can see some of the lower thirds that we designed uh, before. You can see this overlay that we uploaded into the system in use. Um, if I want to take this overlay off, right, by clicking it again, and then make one of our cameras full screen, and I can put a different overlay on, and of course, every time you mouse over the overlay, you do get a, a preview of that overlay. And, uh, and just like that, we are pretty much done. You have all these different pieces here. I'm going to throw up our thank you for watching overlay and then end the broadcast. So we click end broadcast and it comes up with that second challenge question and you say end broadcast. It'll take a second or two and it will end. And on the, uh, guest side, and we're going to go through the guest experience in another video, it will ask them to stay in the studio so that it can upload uh, their local recording into the EVMUX system. Uh, whereas on my side, you can see right here that it is still indeed uploading into the system, even as uh, I'm offline now, and it, it gives you a percentage, it says, you know, 80, 3%. That's what it's doing there, which is pretty cool. Um, I mentioned before that the go live experience is different if you have one pro scene. So I'm just going to add one empty pro scene, go back to our dynamic scenes. Um, and then we're going to go live one more time. So let's do that. Another thing that's really dope about EVMUX is that you do not have to recreate a session. You do not have to recreate studios. You can go live multiple times in the same session to the same destinations. You just have to change your title if you want to, but I'm not even going to change the title. I'm just going to click go live again. So we click go live, click start, and we are moving towards live again. Um, and so once that comes live, you're going to see very quickly here that a program and preview screen will appear. You see that? So as soon as you go live, if you have a scene, you want to click the transition button to push your whatever you have in preview over to program, and then you will manage your stream the same exact way as if you were not having the, pre the preview screen. So it even says here in very small letters uh, that dynamic scene is managed on real time so please focus on the live player so this is your live player over here this is your live player over here you would focus your attention over there you would control the way your the layouts that are on the screen everything you would do it as if you're in just a dynamic scene except that you do have this pro scene ability of having the preview window and i know that's gonna wet your beak like wait a minute what is this pro scenes all about but i wanted to make sure you kind of got a chance to see that difference some of you may have gone live and you're like Ooh, there was just a black screen. I didn't see anything live because you didn't click the transition button. So as soon as you go live, if you have pro scenes present, as soon as you click go live, you do want to click transition to push something live so that once you, uh, once, once you have that there, you can manage it dynamically or you can switch to your pro scene. And again, we will dive into pro scenes in another video. We're ending the broadcast here. And we're hoping that the other broadcast is finished uploading because I want to take you back to the dashboard real quick. And we're going to go to our sessions. We're going to go to the midweek huddle, which is where we were. We're going to go to recordings. And you see that there is this one from September 13th. This is the one we just recorded. I'm going to click on that and you can see this is the full recording. So the full video where we were testing comments, you can see it's giving me a little bit of a preview where some comments are coming on screen as well. This is the recording of my main camera, this camera that you're looking at right now. And this is the recording of my laptop camera, the camera that is over here. So we have all three recordings. And again, the recordings are ISO, meaning they're, they're recorded without any overlay. So you can actually take this, these recordings, repurpose them. If you are a person that, that needs that un, 
edited, no filter, no comments, no no overlays, nothing on the video, you can get that out of EV Mux. Uh, you just click download right here um, for any one of them and you're good to go. Few, if any, web-based streaming platforms give you program and preview. <laughs> None of the competition enables 1080p on the free plan. And with their event slash remote producer focus, they've delivered a guest experience we've not seen from any streaming platform, web-based or locally installed. Impressed? <laughs> I'd say that I am. And yes, you've waited long enough. I, I get it, fam. The real secret sauce, Pro Scenes, is coming up next. Be sure to subscribe so you get notified. If this was helpful, smash that like button. And of course, learn more about EV Mux in these videos.